I'm going to teach you how how to to walk in God's word. And this topic is a topic, a short topic. It's not a long topic, so I will not take much of your time today. It's a short topic, a short topic, a short topic from the Bible, a short topic. Is that, you guys got it? It's a short topic. Yes. Yes. Now, 15 minutes, 15 minutes topic. That's what I'm going to say on air right now. Now, what, 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 what did I say? What was the topic again? No, what was the topic? I told you the topic. What did I say? Are yeah, you guys listening to me? Yeah, 15 minutes. What is the title of the topic? Eh? How to walk in God. I don't know. I, I, if you are listening to me, <laughs> I'm asking people here. They, they t- <laughs> <laughs> how to let me say how to prosper in God's word yes how to prosper in God's word so yeah. first of all first how do you prosper in God's word is by meditating in the word of God Joshua Is it you want to go there? Joshua what? Chapter one what? One. Chapter one verse what? Chapter what? One. Okay. Chapter one verse what? Uh, verse nine. Two. Let's go. <laughs> Are we there? Zoo. So, are you guys there? Who is there? What did he say? It's not one. What did he say? What did verse 9 said? I have not commanded you. I have not commanded you. Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor what? Be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you. What? Wherever you go, let me start from there. I know what this this is. I ask you to go to what Joshua 1, chapter 1, verse 9. We we'll still go to the other place, yes. Yeah, hey, yeah, I want you to go to verse 9. Then I, I want you to go to verse 9 first. What did he say? He said, verse 9 said, What I have, I have not commanded you. That is what I wanted to say. Did, did you guys listen to what I said? I have not commanded you, I have not commanded you. I have not commanded you. I have not commanded you. What is that? I have not commanded you. I want you to understand. I said, how do you, how do you what? Prosper in God's word. Is that the topic? Uh How do you prosper? Now I told you, I have not commanded you. You said what? I have not commanded you. I have not commanded you. If you want to prosper in God's word, listen and wait for God's word. Now, let me go back as let me go back to that. Let me go to verse 8. The book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall what? Meditate in it day and night, that you may what? Observe to do according to all that is written in it. Therefore, you shall what? Make your way prosperous and then have what? Good success. And the next verse, he said, I have not commanded you. Did you see the first instruction? So, to prosper in God's word, number one is what? Listening to God's instruction. Listening to what he said you to do. He just told him, he said, everywhere you go to, if you meditate on my word, you walk in my word, you shall prosper and you shall have good success. Now, he said that I did not command you yet. He took over from what? From Moses. And he said, not yet. He told him this is what is going to happen, but I did not ask you yet to go. So what the Lord said, do things. Do not do things. If I ask you to do things, then you do it. Some people said, okay, because God has said this, then I can do this. No, it doesn't work that way. It, the, that instruction has to be from God. He said, because I'm a pastor, I'm a, I'm a pastor, and because you're a pastor, and you said, okay, uh, the Lord said, uh, uh, if you believe in me, you can cast out demons. Were you given the authority to do that? Were you given the right to do things? 
If the Lord gave you the right, said, oh, because uh, God gave me, God gave me uh, a word of knowledge, that means I'm a prophet. No, it doesn't work that way. Until God anointed you, sanctify you for that place. That is where you go. That is how you can prosper in God's word. You can you can see and stand boldly that you are you are you 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 are for God. You have to listen. The children of Israel, because they don't listen, things have always happened to them. So, as a child of God, listen first. I told you there's a story about an, a, a a young a young Christian that was uh, was so was so eager. To, to, to preach the word of God. And there's, there's this island, this place in the Amazon forest. And in the Amar Amazon forest, there's these people, they don't like to see outsiders. So he said he wants to go and preach to them. And now, the problem was that he did not listen to God. Because he did not listen to God, he was what? He was killed by the same Amazon people that he wanted to preach to. And if he had listened to God, he would have learned what God wanted him to do. But because he saw, like, I want to go and spread, the, Jesus said, spread the word, spread the word, go to the mountain top, go to everywhere and spread the word. Then he said, I can do it. No, you have to listen. What did God ask you to do? If God asks you to do, you what? this is what God asks you to do. Do it. God is going to open way. But if God did not ask you, wait, just calm down. And if God said, this is what, this is what you need to do, start doing it. Even though that, that thing that you are saying, you are looking at it and said, am I sure? But the only assurance you have is from God. Continue doing it. So you see the, 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 this. And this Bible showed us what God, what God did when Joshua, here in, in Joshua, Joshua listened to God. The, the, those religious folks told Joshua, now that you have taken over, do, do, do. He said, no, until you hear from God. The one that called Moses is the same one that called me. He said, let me hear from him before I take a step. And when he heard from God, after God talked to him, he now said, God now told him in that chapter, in, 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 verse, 10, in verse 9, he said, I have not commanded you. Be good courage and, uh, I mean, be, be strong and of good courage. Do not what? Be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you, want, you go. I did not ask you yet to enter the promised land. I did, no, no, no. I did not ask you to go there yet. Don't go, don't, don't go, don't go in yet. But God have told him that, don't be dismayed. I am with you. If you read my word, a lot of this will happen to you. But don't go yet. So, ah, uh, they, they would have called, Brother Joshua. Brother Joshua. Brother Joshua. You just told us God asked you to do this. He said, no, the Lord told me not to do that. Not, not to do this yet. But don't be dismayed. And what happened? The Bible recorded that Joshua sent spies to go to the land. Huh? <laughs> it's funny. God just told him in chapter, in, in verse 8, what God just told him that, don't be dismayed, don't be do this, don't do this, don't do this. And immediately God told him that, he said, I'm with you everywhere you go. Hmm? Everywhere, this is God. You, you guys got it. God just told him that, everywhere you go, I will go with you. Don't be afraid, I will go, I will fight your fight. <laughs> and the Lord told, told him now, said, in the same word, and told him, I did not send you yet. I did not send you yet. Huh? Imagine telling the elder, ah, God told me that it's going to be with me. It's going to be, it's going to be with me. Ah, so, okay, let's go. No, God said I should not go. <laughs> are, are you sure it's God that told you that? This is what is written here. The Bible recorded, he sent spies. Let me read it. Hear what? In verse, in verse 10. Then Joshua commanded the word, the officers of the people, saying, pass through the world, the camp, and, and command the people, saying, prepare provision of yourself, for within three days you will cross over the world to, the, to Jordan, to go into possess what? The land which the Lord your God has given you to possess. And to what? The Rubanite, the, the Gadonite, and the half tribe of what? Manasseh. Joshua spoke saying, remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you saying, the Lord your God is giving you rest and is giving you what? This land. 
Did you see how he followed? He did not rush. He said, to go and tell the people that you prepare this. All the old people that he told them, these are the people that, this were their challenge. These were the people that were fighting them. He, he, he became, all the, he called all of the, all this, their family, all these people. They, they, they still had problems with each other. Because when the Lord spoke to him, they were still, uh, you told us that the Lord told, he said you should, not, you should not depart from the book, we should hold on to the word of God. And now you are telling us not to go, after three days we should wait. What are you saying? Well, the Lord has given us victory. Let's go into the land. No, the Lord said, wait. I did not ask you yet to enter the land. Are you guys getting it? Immediately you start listening to the word of God. Ha uh ha. -huh. You will prosper in wherever you go. You will prosper. This is what the Lord said. This is, this is the answer to many questions that people ask. Why am I not prospering in God's word? Why is, the, why is God's word not working for me? Listen, take that word. Somebody come, said, okay, because somebody called you, said, okay, uh, because you're a pastor, and somebody called you and said, I'm having a problem. Said, oh, go and read Psalm 52. Huh? Said, because it's in the Bible. Oh, go and read Ma first Matthew, uh, second Matthew, uh, first Matthew, uh, second Matthew, or fourth Matthew. Okay? Whatsoever in the Bible, you ask the person because you just want to be, feel like you're a pastor. No. Or somebody called you and said, uh, man, of, man of God, uh, I'm having this problem. You just said, in the name of Jesus. It doesn't work like, listen to God for us. The one that called you. Somebody might call you. And the person just need advice. And you explain the person. You start casting demon. When are you supposed to advise the person? And you just tell the person, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're, this is what you're supposed to do. So, you have to what listen, listen, be attentive to the instruction, what was given. So if you want to prosper in God's word, you have to listen to that instruction, what was accurately given to you. Said, okay, I'm a man of God. Yeah, yeah you can go anywhere. I told you, um, when the Lord called me, I was like, yeah, okay, the Lord has called me. That's what advice I was receiving. That the man, hey, you can go anywhere and start church anywhere. You can still, no. Where did, the, where did God ask me to go? He asked me to come to Las Cruces. He said, Las Cruces? Yeah. Are you sure you hear from God very well? Yes. So I told God, I said, God, no, you know, it's not that I want, I don't want to go to Las Cruces. Let me go to, let me go to Europe. From Europe, I can come to Las Cruces. And the Lord said, no, <laughs> go where I asked you to go. I remember I sold my shoe to enter Europe. <laughs> to try to enter. It did not work out. Why? Because I was not listening. I wasn't listening to the Father. Oh, the way the father said, when I, the time I started listening, everything started working together for my good. The same thing people are having today. You don't prosper in God. How do you prosper in God's word? How do you prosper in God's word? This is how you prosper. Listening. This is how you listen. Immediately you listen, you see. It's this place. And the Lord said, if, if, if the Lord has spoken the word, maybe through his pastors, through his prophet, or whosoever that God uses to speak to you. You listen and follow that word. You see how you prosper. Everywhere you go. And the Bible recorded that. Why do you think that they, they, took, they took over the land? Because they listened. Joshua took all the instruction that was given to him from God. He wasn't listening to the, to the, to the, to, to the elders. He wasn't listening to... I'm, I'm telling you. People, as a human nature, we argue. We come like... You know, pastor, it's not like... It's not like uh, it's not like we don't know that you're a pastor or a man of God or a prophet. We don't know that it's not like we don't know that you're a prophet. But let's let's think it like this. <laughs> My question is always: Do you believe I'm a man of God? If you believe I'm a man of God, and what I'm saying right now is from God, I'm telling you do this, and you'll see how it will be. You understand? And so, but we are. If you know that I am, God sent me. This is what the Lord told me. This is what I'm telling you. That's easy. That's so easy. That's so easy. And do it. There's a time somebody came to meet me. The same way. I said, no, I've tried the pastor. I've done this. He was explaining to me. I said, dude, this is what the Lord told me to ask you to do now. If I do it, I will do it now. And immediately do it. He came back. Asked, so why didn't it work before? Because you are not listening. If you follow the instruction of God, it will surely, surely work out good for you. The problem we have is that we don't know how to follow it. We begin to find shortcut, one angle, like, okay, let's do it so this way. We start thinking in our own head. 
We start doing everything that we know, that we start trying to uh, give excuse that we can't do this, we can't do this, we can't do this, or we can't do this. The most important thing is to prosper in God and in God's word. You need to listen to him. You need to listen to instruction. If you listen to instruction, you will see how God will prosper in your life. He will, he will show you off. He will always show you off. Immediately you like to listen. Me that is talking. It's not that uh, I'm saying, oh, it has happened to me. <laughs> what I'm saying right now. When I just gave you an example of my how I said I want to follow through your room. <laughs> and the Lord said, do this. <laughs> and I started thinking. What I was thinking is that how will it be possible? And the God that creates possibility is telling you that go. Go. The Lord told, he told Joshua. He told him all this thing. And Joshua still sent spies. To, uh, people to go and spy on that land. And they went and spied. Out of the spy that went, all of them came back, except one person, Caleb, came back and said, ah, it's really flowing with what? With uh, honey and what? The land is uh, milk and honey. The rest said, ah, there is giant in that land. <laughs> And they just told him what the Lord said. The Lord said, well, I'll be with you. I'll do your news. I'll do all this. And the Lord told them. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you should what? Follow instruction of God. Listen and follow instruction of God. And if you follow, you will prosper in everything of God. If you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation in the word of God. Check. All those prophets that follow the instruction of God. Just check, check it out. You see how you saw Elijah, you saw Elisha. All of them, you see how they go. Prophet Moses, if you, the prophet Moses in the Bible, you see what happened to him. Immediately, he, he got angry and deviated. Okay, let me do it my own way. God was mad with him. That all this way, you have followed me. Why now? And God told him, come home. Come home, come home. That promised land said, you're not going to see it. Come home. He's, he was so close to God. He, was, he, he saw God's glory. That the devil, when, when God asked him to, <laughs> that is the only person in the, in the book that I know that God said, go and die. Imagine. <laughs> the same God would come to that God. Thus says the Lord of hosts. And one day he just said, ah, the Lord told me to go and die. <laughs> I come to the mountain and die. Said the instruction. That's when he said, okay, I'll go and die. And, and the Bible recorded that the devil was looking for the corpse of that body. Because he was so close to God. That instruction has, he has listened, listened to God. The same thing, the, 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 uh, you talk about Abraham, Father Abraham. Listen. And immediately, Father Abraham, the wife convinced him and said, Oh, is that, is that I don't know that your God will do it? Your God can do it, your God can do it. But you know, I'm just we're just helping, you know. And it made a lot of trouble. Up to today, exactly. So when we are saying things, it is very, very good that we list what we listen and follow the instruction of God. You will prosper in God's word. And if you follow this thing as the Lord has spoken this word. In the Bible, let me even read it for you. Let me show you this. This, this is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do the. I read it before. The uh, the book of Acts, chapter one. Today we are reading chapter one, verse verse eight. I, verse eight is very famous today. Acts chapter 1, the book of Acts, Act of the Apostle, chapter 1. Are you guys there? Are eh? <laughs> Verse 8. But you shall receive what? Power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem and all in Judea and in Samaria and to the end of the earth. Now, if you, if, if 
you read this, when he told them the instruction, he gave them this instruction. It was instruction. This one I'm reading. He gave them in, in, in instruction. He told them that day, if that you should wait. He told them, wait, wait, wait. That's what he told them. Wait, go and wait for me. Wait until before you do anything. Anything. Those who that did not wait will not receive the Holy Spirit. He told them, go and wait for me. You understand? Okay, Jesus has risen again. And wait. If you wait, then you will see. And immediately they wait. They waited. The Holy Spirit came. The Bible recorded the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they received power. That is why Peter can say, what I have, I give to, the, to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, stand up and walk. That is the right because he waited. He followed that instruction. The same thing again. When you follow all this, I told you, those who that follow instruction and listen to the voice of the Lord, you see the way they prosper. You saw Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the Bible said, what? He followed the instruction of God and made army out of dry bones. Those dry bones, he said, the Lord told him something. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's going to be, it's going to be funny now when somebody came and said, I'm a prophet of God and the Lord said, I want to make an army. So, I believe, maybe he told somebody, said, ah, the Lord just told me that I should go to the cemetery and <laughs> he's going to wake armies. <laughs> really? How is, how did, are you, <laughs> I know you are, you are going cuckoo. <laughs> That's what they will say to him. <laughs> but he listened and followed what the Lord said. And the, the Bible recorded that, that it was a battle and they came up. They, everything was coming together. The flesh came together. The breathing, everything came. Because he follows what the Lord said he should do. The same thing, if you want to prosper in God, this is how you prosper. This is how you prosper in God's word. This is how you prosper. If you're using the word of God, this is how you immediately you listen and follow the instruction. You you what? The Bible said what? This is a manuscript of life. This is a manuscript. Instruction, immediately you follow it. The instruction said that you should know which one to use. Don't say just, don't say okay, because the Bible, if you read the Bible, the Bible is just a book. I would say, people will say okay, why just said no? This is the word of life. It is a book right now. Until you took that word and begin to meditate it as it said unto Paul. And he said unto Paul. He said unto Peter. He said unto Joshua. Unto Moses. This word, when you meditate it, the true one will work for you. It's like you are looking for victory. In the Bible, you said I'm looking for victory. You, you have something and you want victory in things to do. And you start reading, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want it doesn't rhyme. I'm just trying to tell you. Now I'm just giving you, you, you don't need to look for victory. You just, when you go to the Bible, you said, oh, the, the Lord is my rock. I'm just giving you, should I call it, es, uh, uh, espo, cheat sheet of what I'm trying to do. Like I'm telling you. So, if you want to go, go to the Word. You said, okay, this is what I want to read. Does that word concerns you? If that word, you can meditate it that, okay, I'm having, I want to, I want to walk in righteousness of God. He said, okay, I know where to go and read. Then you read it. And immediately you read it, you know that word counts for you. And as you read it, it comes into your soul. It stays. And it begins to grow. And when it grows, you, you to, out of the blue, you might be walking one day and started speaking the word. That's the same word. And when you say that, you just see yourself. Um, when, you, when you want to increase your faith, you said, you, you, you want to increase your faith, you said, I'm confident of this great thing. What are you confident of? The word of God. So as you go, just listen to what, listen and what, follow the instruction of God. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as they speak the word, this word will grow in them. It will become power unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let this word stand for them in the name of Jesus. As they meditate it, it will be one with their soul in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, I pray for those people that are watching us in the mighty name of Jesus. Those people that will be seeing this video in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that whatsoever they are doing in the name of Jesus, that is not of God. Father, take them away. Take them away. Take them away. I see a lady. This lady, I'm seeing you. I don't want to call your name. You, you, you saw this video right now that you are, you are seeing me. You are seeing me right now. And somebody just gave you advice to go and do something that is not of God. Please, I repeat this. Don't do it. You end up in jail. You end up in jail. I don't need to come. People come to meet me and said I should pray that you should come out from jail. Don't do this. Don't do Don't even start it. Don't take that advice. Don't take that advice. Don't take, don't take that advice. God will provide help. Help is coming for you. Help is coming for you. God is a God that is, God owns everything. He will give you whatsoever you want. But what you want to do, it cannot help you. I'm telling you this. I will not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you, okay. You, you are in the room with three people, three other people in that room. And you guys are seeing me now as I'm talking. But I'm telling you right now, please don't do it. You collected that advice. They gave you that advice. Don't do it. It will not work for you. Don't do it. You end up in jail. Don't do it. Father, thank you. Glory be to your name. 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 Our Father who art in heaven, I love be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it's done in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whosoever that will see this video that is sick, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed in your bone. Be healed in your flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in your blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for that lady that you are going for a cancer screen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every cancer that is in your body, go. In the name of Jesus. I command that cancer, go. Cancer, go. Cancer, go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command that cancer to go. I command that cancer to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, faith. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been crying in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for you. Let God that I serve stand for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, be thou glorified, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a victory. There's a victory for you. There's a victory for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's a victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Jehovah. I pray for Florida. I'm praying for Florida. Uh, Florida, there's something, something. Is it, should I call it wind? This wind, I, I, uh, it is not time for tornado. Is it tornado or wind? In Florida. Florida. And people are are rushing to that place to get vaccine. But I see this wind coming. This wind would destroy a lot of, of, of things. Wind, I see this wind coming. This wind coming. I see this wind coming. I'm praying, Father, protect your children. Florida, I'm calling for it's going to be on the news in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Jehovah, King of Glory. Payana to Zimbrandia to Bere de Asaliga de Amanosi, Ria Ketobra de Catalaria Sote, Rina Sopra de Zatroskebo, in the name of Jesus Christ. For I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, be merciful in the name of Jesus Christ. Cover your children in the mighty name of Jesus. For I pray for Las Cruces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, thank you because you are good. Thank you because you are wonderful in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. My Father, thank you for the angelic visitation. Thank you for the angelic vis visitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Angelic visitation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I thank you. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. I want to invite you, if you're watching me on Facebook, in the name of Jesus Christ, if you're watching me on, on YouTube, we are inviting you to Cross of God Church for All Nation. You are welcome uh, in Dream Center, Las Cruces, here in Dream Center. Just put on, on, your, on, on your phone or whatsoever gadget you use that has internet. If you said Dream Center, Las Cruces, you... You know where it is in the name of Jesus. We meet here on Friday by 4 p.m. in the name of Jesus Christ. On Sunday, you meet, we meet here also by 3 o'clock in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and worship with us. The Lord loves you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord I serve be with you. Bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless you.
Bye bye everyone. I will see you next week on on Sunday. I will